Senator, thank you for sitting down with me today. I know you have a lot on your agenda. No problem. Thanks for coming by to spend time with me. Absolutely. So, for those people who don't really know a lot about you, tell us about yourself. Who is Senator Latinor? I come from Irish immigrant parents. Growing up was rough. It was me, my mom, dad, God rest their souls. There were many days when all we had to eat was pork and beans. We made the most of it, but when you're hungry, pork and beans hit the spot. I wasn't born with a silver spoon. I grew up from the streets. We were always fighting with the Italian boys. Every afternoon after school, we'd get into a brawl and chase each other around town. Same thing with the black guys. We were always fighting. They really didn't like me. I had this thing for chocolate. Yeah! yeah. I could say that, right? Uh, it may be okay. Ironically, my first job was in an Italian deli. I used to cut meats as a boy. That's where I met the mother of my first child, Kanisha. She used to always come in and buy those big fat sausages. She loved those. The bigger the better. And I had it to give, if you know what I mean. Back to the point, people see me. I'm talking about the working folks. I'm talking about the everyday guy. When they look at me, they see themselves. Yeah! Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Yes. I'm a senator, yeah, but I've worked construction. Fuck off. I've been a plumber. There's no shame. Like my friends tell me, get it how you live. I got bills just like the next guy. That's why I'm gonna run for the 2016 presidency. Very interesting. The one focus will be the reduction of violent crime in poverty-stricken communities. It's a shame that so many of our low-income neighborhoods are filled with African Americans that are left alone by themselves. And there's not much help from the government to change that. They get angry and they lash out. There are violent crimes and money is the root to the problem. But black people in these areas, they're not lazy. What is your solution? I've been working on a program to help uplift the spirits in these low-income communities. Myself and several other senators are working on a bill called Heaven on Earth, the whole act. Basically, if you make under $75,000, the government will give you a subsidized blowjob by an upper-class woman. The idea is, if more black men can get quality blowjobs from quality women that usually they may not be able to afford, they would feel too satisfied to commit violent crimes, and they would take that energy and put it towards being more productive. Yo, we about to get paid, about to get some money. Yo, 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 we about to bust a cap in these like... Well, I would, but I haven't been feeling that motivated lately. And what you thinking about going back to school? Plus, I'm a little busy at the moment. What the, oh, hello, he got a hole under the table. Okay. God bless America. And trust me, these will be highly qualified professionals. Professionals? Professionals. Getting a blowjob from a beautiful woman with perky implants and long extensions, it gives you hope. So how will this be paid for? There will be additional taxes, absolutely. The states will subsidize the blowjobs and the ladies will be paid $50 to give the blowjobs, plus tax cuts and credits towards their medical bills and other tax incentives. For obvious reasons, we want the pretty hoe to be clean and vice versa. Each person should be given two cocksucks a week. And where are you with this bill? Have you had any success with pushing it forward? Are you kidding me? Tremendous expense. I, I mean success. Bill Clinton, Anthony Weiner, Elliot Spitzer. We've been working nonstop on this. We just have a couple of small details to work out. So when should we expect this to be part of legislation? This bill should be ready by next year, and I'm hoping it passes. We've been getting a lot of positive responses. This is the first step in lowering violent crime in low-income neighborhoods. You know, it almost seems as though you are working to legalize prostitution. What's next, a, a string of brothels? Why would you even ask me that? Do you think I condone the solicitation of women? I have daughters. I wouldn't do that. This is not about peddling pleasure. This is about offering hope. Thank you very much, Senator Latinor. This has been most enlightening.